Hello there, I'm Maddie, also known as Hello Interloper. So, uh, for those of you that are into cryptocurrency trading, or are at least interested in it, um, there's an app called Coin Alarm, and it's extremely useful. You set alarms for when uh, prices go up to certain points or down to certain points, and you can choose the coin, uh, how you are actually gauging the price, whether it's going to be your local currency or in Bitcoin, and then the actual site price, because every site for buying and trading has a different price. They're all relatively similar, but some are going to be cheaper than others. But the problem that a lot of people are having is that the program or the app itself is in Korean when they install it. So um, what I'm going to do is show you how to change the language. So I'm going to basically take my handy dandy little drawing tool and point out down here there is a dot 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 thing and that's basically the others. Meanwhile this is chat. So uh, I'm going to click on the dot 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 and this is how your settings should look. Uh, let me get that back here. Add widget is up top here. Change nickname is here. Donate is here. Send email contact is here. And change language should be right here, the second blue button and block list is down here. So basically, um, this is what the equivalent screen should look like. You want to change language, and once you click on that, there should be three different choices. The bottom choice should be English, with the middle being Korean, and the default system being on top. So uh, you definitely want to change it to English if you can't understand anything, because this app is actually originally Korean but it does have an English option. So if you did download this and are confused about how to change it to English, uh, this is how you do it. However, I am on a tablet. I'm not sure if the phone version has a separate settings page, if it looks any different. So um, if your settings page looks different, please say so in the comments and say if you're on tablet or uh, phone, so that way I can get the uh, correct information out. And so uh, also other viewers can figure this out too. Um, but for the record, I am on a Samsung tablet and that's what my settings look like. So hopefully that will help you change the language to English. Anyway, good luck, happy trading if that's what you're doing. Uh, personally, I am not really in this very deep, so uh, I just kind of am holding on to things for now. I know a lot of people day trade, so uh, this is definitely useful for that sort of thing. You'll get notified um, pretty quickly. I mean, you could change the refresh interval from one minute to, you know, a few hours, but basically it will fetch the price based on what interval you set, it will ring an alarm continuously, set a new alarm if you want for another 5% drop or rise um, once that alarm is done, whatever you want it to do. Uh, you can set as many alarms as you want, so if you trade in multiple coins, you can do that. Um, I think so far I've only made 30 bucks. It's not really... Uh, that wonderful if you're making a small time investment, but that's basically what I'm doing. I'm not all in. I'm not a high risk person. So I'm just hoping to make back a little bit of money so that way I can pay for my frogs. <laughs> if you saw my channel, I do have frogs. And I recently spent, you know, like, I guess a couple hundred on all their supplies. I should have bought from Amazon. Anyway, enough with my ranting. That's how you fix it. <laughs> Good luck, everybody.